Lesson 102 is on subtracting decimal numbers using zeros. And we've kind of talked about this in class, so it really should be kind of a review. Okay? So if I tell you 0 0.4 minus 0 0.23, okay, again, what's the most important thing that we understand about decimal numbers? Yes. You want to, add, you want to line up the decimals? Line them up. Most important thing you can remember when you're adding or subtracting decimal numbers. So I'm going to take the 0 0.4 minus 0 0.23. Problem. <gasps> what do I need to do? We put the zero over the K. Okay. Does everybody remember that? Okay. As you can see, I lined up my numbers very well, decimals very well, numbers very well, and there wasn't a number on top of that. Um, so, yes. I just pretty much bring down that number. So I don't really, I always forget to put a zero, but I just. You're going to have to because on this, it really makes a difference. Oh, yeah. So if you brought down three, <coughs> I want you to see that that's not going to be the answer. Okay. Okay. So watch this. It works with adding like that. But with subtraction, you have to have a zero. So watch oh. this. Can I take three from zero? No. No, I have to borrow one, bring it over, and so this will become ten, right? So three from ten is seven, right? Not three. Mm -hmm. Do you see that? how that would be different? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then two from three is one. And then I'll bring my decimal down. So our answer would be 0.17. Yes. You would get a completely different answer if you did three. That would be um two thirds. Um, well, 20, 0 0.23. Yes. This it would look totally different. 0 mm -hmm. Right. Right. Okay. Does everybody got it? Mm -hmm. Everybody understands that mm -hmm. the zero is absolutely necessary in this one. Okay. Try this one. Three minus 1.23. Now. What do you remember about whole numbers? Put a decimal behind the three. You have to have a decimal behind the three. Very good. Okay, we're still going to line up our decimals. Oh, that's it's behind the three? Always. Always you, you after. You said behind. Behind? Oh, I thought it was... Yeah. Every put... decimal is behind the last, the, the ones <coughs> place, no matter what. There's a decimal behind every number, even if it doesn't show it. Okay, so there's a decimal there, and then I'm going to minus 1.23. What do I need to do? Add the two zeros. Add two zeros. Very good. Those are absolutely important. It's not, if we put two, three down here and just bring them down, it's not going to give us the right answer. Okay, show me what to do. You can come on up. Excellent job, Levi. Yay. You should have gotten 1.77. Did everybody get that? Yes. Okay. That is it, guys. It's really that we simple. We have time to do it. Like